Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me today. I've got a cracker for you, a very special lesson actually. For me, anyway, because today I'm going to share with you a very personal, emotional melody uh, that I wrote. I wrote this about a year ago and um, it was just after a very close friend of mine uh, passed away, tragically. And yeah, I wrote this, I wrote this for him. Um, and this friend, uh, he was very supportive of of my journey, uh, he was always so excited uh, with every little achievement that uh, that happened to me, and he's uh, he's very sadly missed. In fact, I've got uh, a little plaque that his family made me uh, just at the back here, and I've got his his little head, a little picture of him uh, over there, and he's been in, in every single lesson uh, that I've recorded uh, somewhere uh, up the back there. So I've always feel like he's watching over and still enjoying everything that I do. So. Um, anyways, this lesson <coughs> is an example, this melody is an example of, you know, using the guitar as an expressive instrument uh, to help you, you know, express and work through emotions, which is what I'm all about. So, um, I am going to play the chord progression first, and then I'm going to show you these little melody lines that are running through it. So, a lot of cool stuff happening here. And I hope you learn a lot from it. It's not a beginner's lesson. You know, there are some difficult chords and difficult bits in this. But, um, again, you don't overcome the beginner phase by practicing beginner stuff. So, regardless of your level, give this a go and I hope you enjoy it. So, basically, we're going to play a chord progression, right? I'm going to show you how to strum it. And then we're going to also use the same chord progression but connect it with little licks and melody lines. So this is a good uh, a good way to figure out these things yourself, to connect chords with licks. And then I'm going to play through it all at the end. I've created a little emotional video with uh, different cool camera angles and stuff like that. So uh, anyways, let's go through the chord progression first, all right? So we've got this. So we've got an E chord to kick us off. Now I'll put a little diagram so that you can figure out the chords here as well. An E chord to kick us off. A C sharp minor 7. Very fancy. Again, I know these bar chords will be difficult for some, but you just need to keep on practicing. Uh, then we have an E chord. And then an E again. And then a B. Now, I know the B chord, the dreaded B chord, is difficult for a lot of people, right? So if you struggle with this shape here, uh, then another way to do that is to take away the bar and just play the triad. Use your index finger to play the A shape here, the D, G, and B. All right, you can get away with that. You could also play the E shape bar chord. I actually did both in this progression on the 7th fret ok so again we get E C sharp minor 7 A E B again E C sharp minor 7 A See a different shape, same chord. Okay. Now the strumming, okay, that part of it. Um, let me just think. <laughs> so we got this kind of thing going on. Down. So <laughs> I don't really use down up so much, but I know a lot of you like to hear that, right? So I try and try and feel what I'm doing. doing is I'm bringing in some percussiveness to that as well. That's kind of thing, right? Down, up. 
up, slap up, down. All right. Okay, and again, this is optional to add this in. And when I'm slapping, I'm coming up, coming down the guitar, releasing pressure here. That's kind of thing. And I'm also hammering into this chord here as well, the, uh, the C minor 7. Like that, right? So hopefully you can feel into what I'm doing there, right? I don't want to spend too much time in this because uh, the melody is the, the main the main aspect of this, all right? So uh, let me know if you've got any questions about any of that and I can go over it a bit more in depth. Um, I'm actually launching my community today uh, where we can all hang out together. It's not on Facebook. It's much better than that. Uh, you've got all my free courses, uh, all the members and stuff like that. And it's all free. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description. You can upload videos, you can talk to people, you can chat with me, I'm on there as well. So, uh, if you've got any questions about my lessons, you can catch, uh, you can ask me there. So now we're into the melodic part of it, right? Where we are connecting the melody lines with the chords, alright? So hope you get a few ideas uh, out of this as well. So, I use this as an intro, which brings us into, uh, you know, the strumming. And I also use it as a chorus, okay? So you can play this, then you can strum it, then you can play this again, kind of thing. All right, so I'm going to break it down bit by bit, and then you're going to get the whole shabam at the very end. Okay, so the first part goes like this. All right, so what's happening here is I'm strumming that E chord, and I'm getting right behind the sound hole here. Okay, gives us an amplified sound, and I'm using, I'm starting with my middle finger here. Okay, I'm keeping my index free, so I can come right above that and slide my third finger from 2 to 4. 2, 4 on the A string. Slide up to 6. And then hammer in to my C sharp minor 7. See, it's very important that you use, you know, I guess you could do it like this, but it just makes it a little bit awkward when you get into the... A little like okay now when I'm in here all I'm gonna do is just embellish that strum down on it and put my pinky or my little finger should I say on the seventh fret in the high E off again and then get the B string okay And that brings us into the next part, right, which is uh, a little bit tricky, okay, and it goes like this. Back to the start again, right, so just this little bit to do. Um, now, what I'm doing here is I'm in this kind of Hendrixy uh, chord, okay, I've got my thumb over, and I find that I find this a little bit difficult with the big neck here on the dreadnought guitar because I wrote it on my other smaller guitar with a smaller neck, which is uh, easier. But I've got my thumb over here in the fifth fret, and I'm using this kind of F, see the F major seven shape here. So I've got five, six, and seven from the B string. Thumb over five, that mutes the A. My first finger fit. Oh, actually, I bar the bottom two strings here. You strum the whole thing like that. Now, if that's a little bit difficult, right? Two options for you. You can just do this part of it, okay? Bottom part, or even better, the bottom three strings. Just this little A triad, A triad, okay? And again, what I'm doing here, I'm getting my pinky on the high E on seven. Just strumming my pinky on and strumming my pinky off. I can do it like this. Or this. Whatever. Okay. So that back together goes like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that again. Get my pinky on. Pinky off. Back to the B string. D 
D shape, a triad. This makes an E chord, like D shape on the fourth fret, fourth and fifth fret. Strum it down. I get my pinky on five and off. Okay. Then I'm going to get the bottom three strings here, this little triad here, on the uh, uh, the second fret. And I'm going to slide up to the fourth fret and back again. And then get the open strings here. Or just pull it off. Like that. Works either way. And start again. Okay. So that whole thing together sounds like this. Now I do play it twice, and then I go into the strumming aspect of it. All right, so I hope that made sense. Uh, again, um, you can let me know if you've got any questions about everything. Um, but yeah, let's have a little look at how everything sounds together with some fancy camera angles. And yeah, enjoy.